Well, hi, everybody, and good Monday morning to meteorologist Travis Klineski here as we start off a brand new work week. We are just about to the end of January here, and I tell you what, January 30th, a very special day in my heart. My daughter turning five today, and I remember that day very well for the warm conditions. Now, we are looking at mild conditions today here across the entire area. Five years ago today, we were pushing temperatures into the upper 60s and lower 70s. It was an extremely mild day, so we won't be quite that warm. That said, you can't complain about the temperatures on their way for today. We're going to be pushing many places well into the 50s. A few 60s could be possible out there. Now, we're going to be very mild ahead of this cold front. The downside of the day is that we are going to see some stronger winds out of the, well, eventually or eventually turning northwesterly. They start off westerly, become more northwesterly. 15 to 25 mile per hour winds will be common, but across the northern parts of the state, we could see winds up 25, 30. 30, maybe as high as 35 miles per hour. Uh, so a fairly blustery day out there for today. Now tomorrow we start to feel the effects of that cold front. Cooler air starts to work in. We'll see increasing clouds overnight tonight after some high level cloudiness today, but still mostly sunny skies. We see skies become partly to mostly cloudy for tomorrow. Thicker cloud cover the farther north you go. It'll also be colder the farther north you go tomorrow. Maybe some places stuck in the upper 30s. Most of us still getting into the 40s and still some 50s off to the southwest with a little more sunshine. And one thing I'll point out also, if you look to the northwest as we get towards Tuesday night could see a little snow start to develop. There are going to be some chances of some light snow across northern and western Nebraska Tuesday night through Thursday night, kind of off and on. Not really looking at a lot of snowfall, but something uh, maybe some very light, very light accumulation possible during that time frame. Uh, here in the Tri-Cities area, probably not going to see anything. Farther to the east and south, not going to see anything. We just don't have much for chances of precipitation in the coming days ahead of us here. But we do have a cool down in the forecast. Now, I mentioned the stronger winds. There is a fire risk across uh, parts of uh, Kansas here. There's a red flag warning here for this afternoon for Phillips and Rooks County, Kansas, where the highest fire danger will be today. Farther northeast, a wind advisory. This is almost all outside of the KSMB viewing area outside of Antelope County for this afternoon. And this is basically Omaha. The National Weather Service out of Omaha still issues out wind advisories. The other local offices do not here in Nebraska. But these are areas that could see winds up around 40 45 miles per hour when you're talking about wind gusts, I should say. Uh, some stronger winds up there in the northeast part of the state. Now, temperature-wise for today, we're looking at upper 40s to low and mid-50s up towards the north. The snowpack having a little bit of influence there, but still very mild conditions. And again, the strongest winds will be off towards the uh, north as we go through the day today. Again, some high-level cloudiness, but still mostly sunny skies out towards the west, upper 50s to lower 60s. Mid to upper 50s and lower 60s in the south, and temperatures anywhere from the mid and upper 50s to the lower 60s in the east as well. So again, a very enjoyable day temperature wise if you don't mind the stronger winds the good news is we're going to start to get rid of the winds for much of the rest of the week after seeing some very blustery conditions over the past several days really about the past week but we do get more cloud cover and again we start to cool things back while we stay dry here in the tri-city some small chances of snow tuesday night through thursday night off towards the north and the northwest uh, as we get towards the end of the week here the weekend we do bring back a chance of snow for the tri-cities on saturday in fact much of central and eastern nebraska has a chance of light snow on saturday does not look to be a, a nothing major out there that's for sure it should be a mainly a light snow event but something you know keep an eye on i think we'll see some snowflakes flying over the uh, saturday time frame here super bowl sunday maybe pushing back around 40 degrees a little bit of warmer air tries to sneak into the southern parts of the viewing area on sunday uh, so no bitterly cold air on the way that's the good news although we do take some steps backwards in the coming days ahead and again we have that one downside today and that is that wind so not a lot of active weather that's also some good news unless those of you that want a big snowstorm nothing like that anytime in the next week ahead thankfully nothing like what we had last groundhog day coming up for this groundhog day so there you go there is your forecast for today until next time i'm meteorologist travis klineski and i hope you enjoy your monday